Your man out of Japan, Jay Contra here, and going off of my previous video, trying to answer the question, would it be worth going to Japan just to save money on video games? I have here a list of some very, very expensive, not the most expensive, but a bunch of very expensive Neo Geo games. Because I felt like when you think of what the most expensive video games are, you're definitely going to uh, think about the Neo Geo. I can definitely remember some times when I was visiting Japanese game shops and I saw people who had taken up stacks of Neo Geo games to the counter and I was thinking, man, I wonder how much these people are paying for these games. And it turns out if you went to Japan and bought these games, even at some of the more pricey video game shops, you could actually save a lot of money versus buying on eBay. So what I've done is I've assembled a list of nine games these aren't really in any particular order, and they're also not the like nine most expensive Neo Geo games. They're just nine that I was interested in personally, things that I've seen a lot and was more curious about like what kind of games they were, as well as things that I think people might recognize. So what I've done here is I found the price on eBay, at least the, the lowest price, relatively lowest price that I could find. We're taking that price, so what you would probably pay for a Neo Geo game outside of Japan, and then I'm comparing that with the price that I could find on Sudugaya's website. Now, if you don't know what Sudugaya is, they are a general Japanese reseller of cards, games, toys, a bunch of different other things. Sudugaya often tends to set the very bottom of the price of games in Japan. They're not always the cheapest, but they're definitely a place where when you visit a Sudugaya, they're probably going to have what you want. And so I'm going to use that to stand in for what you might pay for one of these games in Japan. What I can tell you up front is that most of these games, although interestingly not all of them, are going to be cheaper in Japan, but really like not that much cheaper when we get into it. So why don't we just start so we can actually uh, get into a real discussion about that. We'll start off with Magical Drop 2, one of the most expensive games for the Neo Geo. And on eBay, it can go for $7,000. That's the cheapest price that I could find for it. Magical Drop 2 is a really interesting case because I played Magical Drop 2 myself. It looks fine. It's a cool enough game. But what really struck me was that looking at the cost in Japan, Magical Drop 2 will cost you a minimum of $7,350. So this is one of those rare cases where a Japanese game is more expensive in Japan than it is on eBay. I should also note that all the eBay prices that I found are buy it now prices. I believe that most of the time you're going to be better off going to auction for these games. You're going to spend less money if you're doing an open auction, whereas the buy it now price might be higher than what you would expect to pay. But if you want the game now, either you're buying the ticket to go to Japan or you're going to be buying it now off of eBay. So uh, also keep that in mind when we talk about these prices. Next, we have Metal Slug X. I haven't included all of the Metal Slugs on this list, just a couple, and we'll start with Metal Slug X. On eBay, it will cost you $3,800 to get Metal Slug X. One of, I guess, so actually I think there's a total of what, six Metal Slugs for the system? There's Metal Slugs 1 through 5, X is a remake, and actually was Double X on the system? I actually can't remember, someone's gonna have to correct me on that. Or Double X might have come out later. I think, that's, I think that's what happened. I know it came out for the PSP, I think. So if you want to buy Metal Slug X in Japan, you are actually going to pay $500 more. You are going to pay $4,300 on Sudugaya for Metal Slug X. That's actually really surprising. And actually, now that I'm looking at the list, that's actually more, more common than I would have thought. But I believe we are going downhill from here. Next, we have Blazing Star. This is the full AES release, of course. Blazing Star at an extremely high $5,000 on eBay. If you want to save a chunk of change, you can go to Sudugaya and buy it for almost $800 less for $4,250. And what I should actually also note is that if you are a tourist visiting Japan, a lot of these shops will have, um, what would you call it, uh, a lot of these shops will have tax-free shopping. So if you bring your passport with you, you go, you buy your games first, and then you go to like a separate counter, show them your passport, they fill out some documents, and they will actually give you the tax back. So on a lot of these games, Sudugaya includes the price of tax. So that's 10%. 
that $4,250 knock off another $400 off of that. You're paying $3,800 for that game. You're saving very nearly $1,200 on Blazing Star. And it's a really good shooter. And I guess if you really want it, you can spend $4,000 for that game. And you, you'd actually, yeah, you'd save about, what, $1,000 by uh, going to Japan. That could pay for the flight alone. Going to the late release Neo Geo games, we have Sengoku 3, which I think is actually Sengoku 2001 in the original Japanese. But the eBay price for it is $3,400 versus Sudugaya's $3,200. So you, only, you will save only a paltry $200 when you're buying it in Japan. It's a fairly good looking beat em up. It's again, a lot of these uh, Neo Geo games I have not played because I'm not a millionaire, although I really would like to play them through perhaps other nefarious means one of these days. And Sun Goku 3 is really up there on the list of the games that I would like to play. So again, save $200 by going to Japan. Going back to shooters, we have Polestar, which is going for a whopping $3,000 on eBay. Or you could go to Japan and save $600 by buying it at Sudagaya for $2,400. And if you're a tourist, knock another 10% off of that. Polestar is a very R-Type-esque shooter. If I remember correctly, a bunch of the people who worked on R-Type ended up moving over to the developer that would make Polestar and Blazing Star. It's a really good game. It's one that I have played and it's one that I can recommend. Although I don't know if I would $2,400 recommend Polestar, but there are definitely other ways that you can play it. Going to our only fighting game on the list, we're going to look at Ninja Masters, which I saw all over the place in Japan. Well, I don't mean all over, but definitely to the video game shops that I was going to, there was this very cool looking uh, black cover ninja game that I thought looked really awesome. But then I looked at the price tag and saw that on eBay, it is going for $3,300 as opposed to Sudagaya's $1,950. So very nearly $2,000. But that Sudagaya price is, it's $1,000 cheaper. So you could, you could justify a nice hotel, a lot, lots of sushi meals, because sushi is relatively cheap in Japan if you're going to places like Sushi Go or Conveyor Belt Sushi. So that is a lot of food you could buy for that $1,000 savings on Ninja Masters. Going on from Ninja Masters, we go to another amazing vertically scrolling shooting game known as Sonic Wings 3. Never officially released in North America, although there is this whole backstory. I remember reading it in The New Yorker, of all places. Never officially released outside of Japan, although there apparently are some, I don't know if they're prototypes or they're like... Uh, or they're like practice uh, full scale release copies or they're like demonstration copies that would have been made before a full retail release. But there's this story of a guy going to an airport with like a huge sack of cash and then another guy meeting him at that airport with the game in like this really nice case like suitcase and then they that then they did the exchange and they went their separate ways it's a crazy story but then i heard that actually the copy of aero fighters 3 is not actually real so who knows but the japanese copy is very real and you can buy it on ebay for one thousand three hundred dollars or you could go to japan and buy it for one thousand dollars if i'm remembering this correctly and i'm probably not the american copy of sonic wings 3 i think was sold for upwards of thirty thousand dollars plus and that was years ago. So if it is real, who knows what it's worth today? Or you could just save yourself a, about a down payment on a house and buy the Japanese version. From shooters, we go to the only sports game on this list. Next, we have Flying Power Disc, which you can find on eBay for $1,200. Or you could go to Japan and pick up the game for $750. It's actually a really big amount of savings there. Something I should also note about Sudugaya is they do have an English website online. However, given the current times that we live, they're not shipping internationally, although they do. Um, they should be adding some countries to the, the list that they ship to eventually, although I don't know what those countries are and when it will happen, but it will happen eventually. And they actually sell those games on Sudugaya.com at the same price as they do for their Japanese site. So you can actually, instead of uh, going all the way to Japan, you can just buy the games off of Sudagaya's website online. Rounding out the list at number nine, we have Metal Slug 3. I didn't want to include all the Metal Slugs, but I did include two. 
I would have included the main metal slug, however, I was not able to find a Japanese copy, an original AES Japanese copy on eBay. Those can normally go for and like $20,000. It's really insanely expensive. Whereas in Japan, that would be about $10,000 from my memory, but I'm just going with the numbers that I have. So one of the metal slugs that I was able to find, aside from X, was Metal Slug 3. Now on eBay, it's going for $3,000, or you could save 10%, and that's just the the actual price difference on Sudogai, it is $2,700. So you can save an additional 10% on that. What's that? $2,400, save $600 just by visiting Japan if you are one of those high rolling Neo Geo collectors. So in all, I actually totaled up how much you would have paid for these nine games on eBay versus buying them at Sudogaya. So on eBay, if you're outside of Japan and you want these games now, you will spend $31,000 to get these in nine Neo Geo games. Or if you could go to Japan, you could spend $28,000 by buying these games all from Sudogaya. So you're saving $3,000 in total. Now, what was really interesting to me was that not every game was cheaper in Japan. Why that's happening, I'm not exactly sure. I wonder if it's a phenomenon of people having gone to Japan, hoovering up these games, taking them outside, and then there's really not that big of a market outside of Japan for these games. So maybe the, maybe the price is going down because you have a much more limited uh, collecting pool outside of Japan. I'm not sure why that's exactly happening, but this is just the price as listed. So you could justify going to Japan and saving $3,000 on Neo Geo games. So that's about, you save about 10%. And then actually overall, if you're including the tax-free shopping, an additional 10% on these games, you're gonna be saving roughly $6,000. Now that could pay for your trip when you include the price of the flight, the food, incidentals, your hotel, and some you know other souvenirs you might want to pick up. You will be spending upwards of $30,000 just for these video games. Now, if you can do that, if you can afford that, and it's part of your collecting goals, sure, I know tons of people, or, and I've definitely seen them in the shops, go to Japan so that they can buy some Neo Geo games. But I think, especially when we look at, this is the very highest end of games, especially when you compare it to a lot of the cheaper games, which yes, might be twice or even three times as expensive outside of Japan as these games are in Japan, you're not gonna be spending this insane amount of money on video games for the more common, and we're saying common uh, as compared to Neo Geo games, it's quite a stretch. But think very carefully about when you're planning your trip to Japan and make sure you're not just going to buy video games because really, unless you're an extremely high roller, you're probably not going to be saving all that much on these games. So you should have other reasons why you're going to Japan. If there are other Neo Geo games that you'd like to know the price difference on, please let me know. It, I'm absolutely fascinated by the system and it's definitely something that I'd like to do a deeper dive into. Your man out of Japan, Jay Contra. Thanks for watching and mahalo.